Hello and welcome to Agri History. In this episode, we'll talk about domestication of chickens. Based on current morphological and genetic evidence, our domesticated chicken has its origins in four species of gallus or jungle fowl. These species are gallus gallus or the red jungle fowl, gallus sonorati, the gray jungle fowl, gallus various, the green jungle fowl, Gallus lafeti, the Sri Lanka jungle fowl, are the main species that make up the genome of our common chicken. In terms of morphology, the red jungle fowl is the closest to our common chicken, and in fact can readily produce hybrid offspring with domesticated chickens that have high survivability in comparison to the other species of Gallus, which have low survivability for hybrid offspring. And the plumage of ancient domesticated chickens is very similar to that of the wild Gallus Gallus populations. Based on current archaeological evidence, there are at least two domestication events that occurred with chickens. There is evidence that in the year 2500, BC, the people of the Innes Valley kept domesticated chickens. This is based on seals showcasing chicken fights. This was likely the first reason chickens were domesticated. We have also found chicken bones of larger size than the red jungle fowl within this region as well. The second center of origin is in Neolithic sites that date from 6000 BC and older. This ancient strain is likely the oldest of the strains of chicken, and there's evidence of trade between the northern China region and Europe, allowing the spread of these new strains of chicken. Based on current archaeological evidence, the earliest trade routes for chicken from China into Europe were through Russia, Persia, and ancient Greece. For this reason, it is suggested that the Mediterranean chicken breeds are amongst the most ancient of the chicken breeds. This is supported by written accounts on Greek life as well as Greek mythology that support the hypothesis that chickens reached Greece by 700 BC. By this point, many of the common traits found in chickens today have already shown up, such as the rose comb mutation and the muff and beard mutations. Under Roman rule, chickens were bred both for food and for leisure. When it comes to the dissemination of chickens in Africa, there are multiple hypotheses on its origin. Current consensus is that chickens arrived in Africa through three routes. One route was through the Sahara from the east, the other route is via the Sahara through the north. A third route is directly from India, because several African breeds of chicken have black meat, a trait found in many Indian chickens. In the areas of Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea, as well as South America, chickens arrived via Polynesia, most likely. This is due to the fact that many of the South American chickens lay blue eggs, a trait found in Chinese chickens, which spread to Polynesia. Now on to the topic of chicken traits and genetics and their potential hybrid origins. Recent discoveries have shown that crossbreeding between the red jungle fowl and the gray and Sumatran jungle fowl have occurred throughout history, and it may still happen with our domesticated chickens in certain areas. Recent discoveries have shown that the yellow skin trait found in chickens of commercial meat and egg production is likely due to crossbreeding with the gray jungle fowl. Further research into chicken genetics seems to show that all four species of Gallus were used in the breeding of our domesticated chickens. Now, can cover the common chickens found in North America, their origins and their traits. First, you'll talk about the egg-laying breeds. The first 
egg laying breed you'll talk about is the Leghorn. This breed comes from an area called Leghorn in northern Italy. Its ancestry is unknown, but we do know that in the mid 1800s, Captain Gates brought them over to North America. The next breed on our hit list would be the Plymouth Rock Chicken Breed. This chicken breed was bred in the 19th century. It was bred using crossbreeding techniques by mixing together different breeds of chickens such as Dominic, Java, Cochin, and Brahma together to create this new breed of bird. This breed was further developed to create many different strains of this breed. This breed eventually became very popular amongst farmers. This is due to its hardiness, docility, broodiness, and excellent production of eggs and meat. Due to the success of the Plymouth Rock, crossbreeding with the ancestral parents of this breed was done to create many strains of rock chicken. The rock chickens have also been used extensively in breeding different broiler chickens used for commercial meat production. The next breed on our hit list will be the Rhode Island Red. This breed, as its name suggests, was bred in Rhode Island. It was bred from the following breeds. Various miscellaneous mutt chickens found in the area, crossbred with brown strains of the leghorn chicken, as well as the cochin chicken breed, the Brema chicken breed, and the red Malay chicken breed. This breed was developed to make a dual purpose chicken that can do well in a free range egg production system. Now let's talk about the common meat chickens of North America. The first breed we'll talk about is a Cornish breed of chicken. Cornish chicken was first known as the Indian Game Chicken. It was bred in 1820 by Sir Walter Gilbert. General Gilbert attempted to breed a new type of fighting chicken using the English Game Chicken and the Malay Chicken. Although this bird failed as a fighter, it found use as a meat bird. It was also used in hybridization to create new breeds of fast-growing chicken. We will talk about that crossbreed next. The final breed we'll talk about today will be the Cornish Cross Chicken. This breed was made through crossbreeding commercial Cornish chicken with white rock chickens. This F1 hybrid breed was made for fast growth and meat production. As such, this breed is able to reach market size within 6 weeks. Due to the fast growth of this breed, this breed suffers from health problems and should not be used outside commercial production. This concludes our video on chickens. Stay tuned for the next episode on goats. See you then.